John Deere is rolling out the second generation of its autonomous technology and it's on everything from big tractors to not so big mowers. Autonomous tractors have been around for a few years now, so John Deere is branching out its new technology to orchards, gardens and even quarries. This is the 9RX and it's been retrofitted with the Gen 2 autonomous system. At the top of the cab are 16 cameras powered by two NVIDIA processors and they are giving a 360 degree view of what is happening around the tractor. The idea is that it's going to be able to withstand the elements in all sorts of farming situations and the cameras are going to be built to withstand things like vibration and of course the weather. This particular configuration right now is designed for tilling but in the future there may be other applications as well. And in case you're wondering, tillage is the process used to prepare soil for new crops. John Deere's first generation of self-driving tractors use stereo cameras to understand the world around it. But this time around, the company is using more cameras that can see further. For some applications like orchard spraying, where GPS signals are challenging with tall trees, LiDAR is also used similar to self-driving cars. Machine learning models on the GPU take inputs from all these sensors, then make decisions on what the equipment should do next. And theoretically, data gathered from a farm in Iowa could be used to train models that end up mowing a college lawn thousands of miles away. For example, taking the, the human interactions that the lawnmower might have and using that data to help make the human interactions that this tractor uh, might have in, a, in an agricultural field better. This is the operation center and it's where the farm can do all of the setting up, the planning of everything that it needs to be doing, and then also start the autonomous function of the tractor. And supposedly so easy that anyone can do it, including myself, so it's just a simple button press, start autonomy, and then swipe. This same Operation Centre app is used across all the different applications. For example, when in autonomous mode, the articulated dump truck can pull aside if it sees a vehicle come by, and workers can view the truck's progress or give additional instructions through the app. One of the main reasons agricultural equipment makers are pushing for autonomy is labour shortages. The average age of a farmer in the US is 58, and nearly two and a half million jobs need to be filled each year. Instead of spending 12 hours in the cab of a tractor doing a tillage operation, you take that person that, that would have been doing that and you have them do uh, high order bits on the farm. Things like running the tractor in the grain cart on a different application, things like running the combine, uh, things like tending to the grain bin site on the farm. But doing multiple jobs at once doesn't come cheap. John Deere didn't share how much its second generation technology will cost for different applications. And farmers will also need to have a tractor that's compatible with autonomy, such as the 9RX, which on its own can cost upwards of 600,000 US dollars. And it might be some time before you see an autonomous mower roaming around a campus lawn. John Deere is still working through safety requirements, particularly around human interactions, as a mower is used in more populated areas compared to a farm or a quarry. For more on autonomous technology, check out CNET.com.